Hello everyone, today's video we are going to be doing a biography discussion on a great film director who you may have never heard of before. That film director is Ida Lupino. Ida Lupino was an actress, film director, producer, and writer during a male-dominant era in the 1940s and 1950s Hollywood. She also directed TV shows. Because of the times, she was not given credit for her work on some movies she directed because she was a woman. She was the first female director to direct a film noir she was the second female to be elected to the Directors Guild of America. In the 1950s and 1960s, she directed TV shows like The Twilight Zone, Bewitched, Gilligan's Island, and The Donna Reed Show. Ida Lupino was born on February 4th, 1918 in London. She came from a talented family. Her father, Stanley Lupino, was the king of musical comedy in Britain. He married Connie O'Shea. Bill's the fastest tap dancer alive. She had a sister named Neil, who was a pioneering film artist, who also had her own studio in Brighton. In 1932, Ida Lupino entered the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts. At age 15, she was a film star in England. She became a contract player for Warner Brothers in Hollywood and was known as the poor man's Betty Davis. Her character was usually down on their luck, hard-boiled, and sensitive females. Eventually, she left the major studio and formed an independent company on an extremely risky decision, especially for a female at that time. The first film that she co-directed, co-produced, and wrote was not wanted. The subject matter was unconventional as the subject dealt with unwed mothers. Lupino was inspired by the neorealist works of Robert Rossellini. Her approach was to portray the lives of ordinary people in difficult situations. Filming in real locations, she operated within a limited budget, Many actors were new that she discovered. Ida Lupino borrowed leftover movie sets. Her use of shadows and dim lighting are typical of the film noir style. In 1953, she directed The Hitchhiker. It's about two friends going on a fishing trip in Mexico. They pick up a hitchhiker who captures them as hostages. Throughout the trip, he has a gun pointed at them, always being in control. They try to figure a way to get out away from the hitchhiker. An interesting characteristic given to the villain is that one eye is always open. He has constant eye on the hostages. Also, the police officers were Mexican and not portrayed as stereotypes. She tackled other taboo subjects. In Outrage, she depicted a woman who was raped. In The Bigamist, she starred was the first female to direct herself. As the title states, her husband was living two lives. One with her, and one with the other woman. Lupina had suffered from a bout of polio when she was younger. She was fortunate that she suffered very little long-term effects of the disease. At the time, there was no vaccine or cure for polio. The country lived in fear of polio outbreaks. Lupino based the story on her own experience, where a dancer, who was on the verge of success, suffered a bout of polio. The film was called Never Fear. The central female character attempts to overcome the effects of this disease, Disabilities were rarely depicted on screen this time. A semi-documentary approach was used in that actual patients in a rehabilitation facility were filmed. Although the protagonist would be classified in the super crib category, she overcomes her disability. There are others who have a more serious disease bringing a higher level of reality to the film. Ida Lupino died on August 3rd, 1995 from a stroke. She left a great legacy behind not only as an actress, but as a filmmaker. Her films were not considered significant and were often criticized, not in their merits, but because she was a woman. The prominent critic, Andrew Saris, dismissed her talents being unskilled. Her work has been reevaluated, and she's now considered one of the most prominent film directors. If you now film as well as Martin Scorsese, who states that she is essential in film history because of the way she explores the minds of victims of society. If you're interested in seeing Ida Lupino's movies, I highly recommend this Blu-ray box set of her movies she directed. This box set right here is all the movies that she directed. In today's world of cinema, female directors are finally getting opportunities and the credit they deserve. Women in Hollywood are working on screen also behind the scenes. In 2009, Catherine Bigelow was the first female director to win an Academy Award for Best Director for The Hurt Locker. Patty Jenkins directed Monster about female serial killer Aileen Warnos. Jane Champion directed The Piano. These movies won Oscars and other categories, but they were helmed by women. Female directors are making films that are more action-oriented. For example, The Hurt Locker is a war movie, and recently, Patty Jenkins directed Wonder Woman. 
First time a female comic book character dominated the big screen. Recently, The Woman King, another action movie, was directed by Gina Prince Blythewood. That wraps up the video. We look forward to more great films made by more female directors.